And here we are getting ready to put the tree in the hole. Oh, look. A hole. A I've hole. got to fix it. you got to fix it. Yes. That's a Sergeant Pepper wrote reference. Yeah. A little baby tree. Some fix in a hole where the rain gets in. <laughs> now this tree is not an evergreen tree. It is um, Pacific Northwest crab apple um, native tree. And uh, we are planting these trees along our long driveway to help feed the animals and nurture the bees. Uh, the deer love the apples. They also love the trees. That's why we have to build a cage around the young tree. Yes, deer have no patience. No, they have no forethought. They I'll love the apples, but they won't wait. And evidently the birds like the apples too. And they're very good for making um, all sorts of uh, apple juice, apple jack, whatever. <laughs> Jam. But mostly we're planting them to sustain wildlife and the bees. And because they're pretty. And they're pretty. And every spring it will be a lovely spring. This, we bless this place on the 1st of May. May this bring peace and joy and nurturing of the land. That all who may step foot in this place may find a place where they can be at peace and quiet and share love music and art and dancing and drumming it's such a beautiful place now i'm going to come back and play potting soil on top of it. Okay. It's a mix of uh, darker, richer soil and compost with uh, natural fertilizer. Whoa. And that grass gets put somewhere else, doesn't it, dear? Yep. Still in a low spot. Mm hmm. But show the process. Now we put cages around these little trees because, as we mentioned, the deer like to have their snacks without forethought that the tree needs to grow long enough to bear fruit. Yeah. So, in fact, these are called deer candy. Yeah. And um, we don't exactly want the deer to chew Munch them up. Them before they're ready. Yeah. Well, we don't want them munched at all. Well, our neighbor's dog is proclaiming something is doing something.
It's really funny, at night sometimes you can hear the dogs talking with the coyotes. Can't we, dear? Yeah. And these can't be the flimsy cages either, because I bent one into a pretzel ball of metal. <laughs> uh, the, thin, the thin legs just won't go through if you hit a rock. It's nothing. So you've got to make sure it's a sturdy gauge cage. And then, of course, finally, we pull, you know, we water it in. And uh, like I said, I'm going to come back and put some topsoil on it. Follow me here. I haven't watered this one yet. Now he did this one this morning early, early. And this is? And uh, this one I planted the other day. Come and look at this. Apple red colored stems on it. A whole bunch of seeds coming out. Uh -huh. Very nicely. Thank you, dear. What was the name of that place where we got them? It's a Whatcom County Conservation. Okay. And if you want to look for plants in the spring and you're in Whatcom County or anywhere else, you can order plants that are native to the area. We are going to continue doing that. Now, if you turn around here quickly, you'll see the cages of the ones that I planted mm -hmm. last week and our our row of trees and the rosemary that's coming up and yep our new lavenders and there's two other trees down in the corners yep and there's we just keep adding trees more crab apple trees going down on the right closer to the road yes and uh Gian just built a big trench down by the road where there's that blank spot at present and eventually that will fill in with the pea roses that are wild. This is our property here and that's our little forest that we need to rebuild. Part of it. <laughs> Part of it. <laughs> That's a one lone, what's that thing? Lodgepole pine. Oh, yeah. But we want to rebuild this forest that had been logged off many years ago. And we're going to be putting more evergreen trees in it. Because there are a lot of cascara trees in there. They're beautiful when they bloom. And they provide food for the animals. But and there's we, one of our blooming rowan trees. There's a rowan tree, one of them. So this is Rowan Hill Sanctuary. Let it be peaceful and wonderful and nurturing for nature and us and those who share it with us. Thank you. Peace and love to everybody. Peace and love. Happy belting. <laughs>